My name is Nuno. I work now as a DevOps engineer in uh, CTW. That's part of BMW Group. And for the last, let's say, uh, 10 years, before I was a civil engineer and I transitioned to the IT world. I did a bootcamp, a nine-month bootcamp, and, and I fell in love with the DevOps world. So uh, I was talking with a colleague that he, he usually contributes to an open source project. And he was telling me if he, he didn't know if he could use Dagger on his project or not, because he was using a Minikube to launch a, a Kubernetes cluster and test the Elm charts. And so I said, yeah, of course you can. You can do, totally do that. So I did a little POC and I've, I showed it in a, in a presentation, in a meetup. So that's that's the... It's not a really complicated solution. It's not a complicated uh, use case of Dagger. It's really simple, but I think it really showcases the, the strong uh, use for drag Dagger. A Kubernetes cluster is uh, simple. They're using it for local development or CI, both. So right. I was telling him, of course you can use Dagger. <laughs> you yeah. should try it. And he said, make, make me a little pocket and uh, maybe show it to me. I said, oh, yeah, of course, I'll, I'll do that. I built a, a really mingle, meaningless app. It just sends one counter to, to another backend. And I was going, I was testing that with an Elm chart. But the setup was mainly bash scripts and uh, gluing stuff together with those bash, bash scripts. And, and, made, and they have multiple versions of the... Uh, tools and they, they get a bit lost on that. And it takes a lot of time to set up because I don't think you can cache with Minikube. So yeah. um, that's why he said, well, can, can I use that to do this? I think that's the reason for it. This is really a meaningless app. It just, you just press this counter and the other one counts how many times you have pressed this button. So it really it is a meaningless app these are two backends. This is the other backend, the counter backend. One one sends a, a request to the other, and the other counts how many requests it it's got. So this is the the two backends I wrote to just to show how this app could be done. How I could use Agar with this. So let's dive. Oh, this one. So. so I'm I'm not going to dive too much on the app on the backends because I don't think that's that's really the the purpose of this. But this is also the the app I've been using or the the repository I've been using to do all my presentations. So it's it really, it's just simple and, and it really showcases Dagger and how we can use Dagger even with LLMs now. So this is this has tests and everything. So I can usually get a failing test and show how an LLM can correct and uh, this test. So let's type a bit more. So I have the, the CI file, which just, Runs, lins, runs, tests, and does check with, 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 that it will run linting and testing for the app. I can also use this function that's, that's, um, that proxies these two services into, into parts so I can see if all of, all of this has been doing good. And also, I can deploy this app in CI. Also, I have this Kubernetes file, which really it spins up a service, a server, and it deploys a service with both of these uh, backends in um, in the Kubernetes cluster. And it, it's really just simple. It it creates a service with the adder and the counter as uh, services, and it's it installs those these services and on a Kubernetes cluster. So what I could do now is I could call show first the functions that I have. 
So I have all these functions to use both locally and on, on my CI, and I could do dagger call. this cube surface which is the one that will spin up the services and in the kubernetes uh, cluster so it has just one function that's the service so when i call service up it should spin up my kubernetes cluster and then install those um, Elm charts, both the other backend and the counter backend in, the, in, this, in this cluster. So there's a problem now because I think uh, this cluster, this is so fast, there is being so fast that the, the, time, the, um, the time where it installs the Elm, Elm charts and the, the time it takes to spin up the cluster, it, they are not matching, and so the Elm charts are not being installed properly. So this is the problem I have to 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 solve now. I should have both services well ran running here, but at the moment they are just being lost for a bit. And usually, people are uh, from. I think probably are people are tired of me talking about Tiger in meetups and conferences because I'm always the Tiger guy. For, for those that aren't used to hear about Tiger and uh, that haven't seen this, this is a really simple exercise so they can uh, understand and see how it works. I used the same repository to, to showcase how Tiger can be used with an LLM. So this, again, this is, this is not new and this is not something that you guys haven't shown but i can show it how i've sure. done it here so again this this is uh, a minging set it just counts how many requests it it got and so what i could do now is that i call dagger functions Again, because I can't remember all the all the all the functions I have sometimes, so I always have to do the dagger function. But I could do dagger call the deep of local, and in theory, it should run tests and see it has a failing test and enter the LLM, and the LLM will correct the test or make a suggestion for the test. And also, this works in, in PRs. It will create a PR that uh, will give, uh, give a suggestion for the field of this. And let me just pull the... So yeah, there it goes. reading it's trying to correct the test now and in a, in a moment it should suggest <coughs> as a, uh, should suggest a solution to the problem I hope because uh, from my experience it, Gemini sometimes doesn't really uh, do great suggestions or it just goes in on an infinite, infinite loop until it just um, expose. Oh, there it goes. So it corrects my test. So what I did also uh, is I did this for this PR. I introduced this error in this PR. And after the LLM um, succeeded, the PR bot entered and made a suggestion to correct the test. So this is also what something really simple that we could, could do by using the an LLM to correct tests or make a suggestion for failing failing PRs. I would say for those those people that haven't really tried it yet, just go to the docs and do the quick start, and they can get uh, like an overview of what you can do with Dagger. 
And of course, after that, you can pick up uh, small projects, maybe something you have built or maybe build something and try to diagorize that project. I think that's that's the the first step that you, you should take or users should take. 